Dear students, myself Dr. S. Kishore, Professor in Department of ECE, Satyavama Institute of Science and Technology, a deemed to be university. Welcome back to the series of talks on startups and today our discussion is about ideating. We know that thoughts are roots of our life and according to a Canadian university recent study, there are around 6.5 transition of our thoughts in less than a minute. So, there are thousands of thoughts emerging in our mind every day, but how many of these thoughts are converted into ideas by us? How many of these thoughts can be a potential problem solving approaches? In fact, to tell you a clarity, there is a small difference between the thought and an idea. A thought occurs in the mind. An idea arises in the mind. A culmination of two, three thoughts towards a problem solving approach can make a good idea. So, first of all, we should understand the difference between these two. Most often, we feel like our thought is an idea, not every thought is an idea. So, you acquire a mentor at this juncture to help out you in which way you can write the demarcation line between just thinking and ideating. So, here we have in Satyavama University nearly 30 mentors from different schools and we have wonderful teachers who can support you in the process of differentiating the thought patterns and potential ideas. We have different clusters to make things easy for you. But before going to that, what is so important for a student in the process of ideating? You can see from this slide, we can have a wonderful funny picture here where a monkey is just looking down inside the camera. It may be funny, but let me tell you my dear students, this kind of enthusiasm is required for every researcher for every student who is so passionate in the process of problem solving. So, ideas can emerge out of thought patterns only with this ingredient called as enthusiasm. This level of enthusiasm is the first step that translates thoughts into ideas. And you can see in the next slide there is a picture of a spider which is named Portia. Portia is an intelligent spider. You can think why we are showing the pictures related to nature today, because we are always amidst nature driven nurture. Our living is closely associated with nature. So, we will take another example from nature in the form of spider. This particular spider is having different tribes, but how this is related to ideating process? The Portia is a spider which is having a quality called as extra mind. Normally in management circles people talk about this word extra mind. You require this extra mind approach towards finding and fetching out your ideas towards a particular problem solving. So, the second step that we can take out from Portia's life is its vision. We should have undeterred vision towards our target. Our target in the sense converting the idea into potential business model. And there is third quality that you can take out from Portia is its ability to look in three dimensional view. As humans we have more capacity, so you must look at a particular idea in multi dimensional ways. You have to brainstorm your idea with experts, peers and in all the forums in a superficial manner without going much details into it, you should check validate your idea in ideating this process is very, very important. 
you have to validate your idea once after the validation by experts or peers or mentors your idea is in semi good shape why i am saying semi good shape because the idea has to be tested so you have to put your idea in interdisciplinary forums or you can you can go through this model of innovation also what are the potential applications of ideas in different fields generally we follow in in our university a 6c model of innovation we have six clusters in student development cell where in which you can you can have a regular brainstorming sessions of ideas you can be a part of these clusters you can participate in the activities to further test your ideas capacity we have various hackathons idea thons which are periodical in the institution so you can be a part of that and you can see the capacity of your idea the strength of your idea to convert it into a potential business model so this is a very very infant step in the process of startup journey so every thought is not an idea but every idea can become a potential business model on this note my dear students i want to make a humble request to all of you you can see from this picture the students sitting on the floor and studying there god has blessed all of you in the form of your parents who have joined you in one of the best institutes in india in fact we are in the top 15 in the last seven consecutive years in nir of ranking so you are in such a place where your dreams are well supported and the kind of facilities that we are having is not there in different parts of world as you see in the picture so understand that four years engineering is an opportunity let us not miss the opportunity make use of the facilities do well we are here to support you our next video is on trl levels which is the next step of understanding towards startup journey thank you